This news update is brought to you by I won For me To me For me uh, uh. Yes. You don't need speakers, right? Upgrade to win every week with Line. Sign up for Line TV or broadband or purchase an iPhone 6 or Samsung Note 4. Upgrade Christmas with Lime. Welcome to the Barbados Today Afternoon Update. It's Monday, January 5th, 2015. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Thanks for joining us. All eyes are on the education sector as the threat of industrial action casts a shadow over the start of the school term. This as the 72-hour deadline issued to the government by the Barbados Union of Teachers inches closer. On Friday, the BUT gave the ministry until the end of business today to address issues at the Alma Paris and Parkinson Memorial Secondary Schools, which they say is unbearable. BUT President Pedro Shepard tells Barbados today that the plans for action is still very much on the table, even as his union awaits word from officials. We are currently going ahead with a planned meeting, special general meeting for our membership on Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. at Solidarity House. And we are asking all teachers, all members of the of teachers to attend this very important meeting to be updated on the status at Alma Paris School, at Parkinson School, at, as well as the status of the appointments of temporary teachers, which is being handled by the Public Administration Department. In other news, he has not handed in his resignation. However, Anglican priest Reverend Ryan Boyce admits he's considering calling it a day at the St. Catherine Anglican Church. He spoke to our Carol Williams. Reverend Ryan Boyce proceeds on vacation on January 17. He tells Barbados today that during that time he's likely to officially hand in his resignation. The priest, who has been at the St. Catherine Anglican Church, St. Philip, for almost five years, says there's nothing sinister about his decision, though he did not go into details. He said it's just something that happens from time to time in the life of a priest. Reverend Boyce disclosed that he has been in discussion with Bishop John Holder. And as for his commitment to the Anglican Church, he said that has not wavered. Carol Williams reporting for Barbados Today. Thanks, Carol. A national employment policy is in the work to help entrepreneurs in the country. So says Labor Minister, Senator Dr. Esther Bayasuku. Speaking at the launch of the second season of the Bank on Me program, Minister Suku said the new policy, which has been tabled in Parliament, would help to, among other things, provide fiscal incentives for new business ventures. A frequent complaint from entrepreneurs and potential entrepreneurs is that they continue to experience obstacles in transforming their business ideas into realistic revenue-earning ventures. Such obstacles range from insufficient access to startup capital, a lack of partners for venture capital arrangements, a lack of equity financing arrangements, and a lack of the necessary business skills. I think you are all familiar with this. In fact, you're probably more familiar with these challenges than I am. Key policies to assist in entrepreneurial development will include the provision of fiscal incentives for new business ventures, the establishment of structured time standards in which entrepreneurs can obtain the necessary documentation they need to start a business, the conduct of a study that would review the tax system's effect on small businesses, facilitating the timely access of small businesses to telecommu telecommunications, buildings, and other infrastructure. Meantime, Barbados's fisher folk are looking at ways to boost the sector, and they say they want to lead from the front to address the country's dwindling fish stock. Industry workers met over the weekend with University of the West Indies and Food and Agricultural Fisheries experts, and it's there that President of the Barbados National Union of Fisher Folk Organization, Vernal Nichols, vowed to assume more control of the fishing environment. We are saying we want to lead in these decisions. We want to be the people to be able to sit at the table and participate in these activities because we know that many times policies are made, decisions are made, and sometimes if we are not a part of these decisions, people can do what they like, and most cases, some of the people that are making the decisions really don't know very much about our activities. 
There's regional and international news after this short break. Hi, I'm Red Plastic Bike. Anyone who knows me knows I don't like cold. Sunshine rains in my country. I love it. To Tobago now, where politicians are trying to come to grips with the sudden death of the country's former national security minister. According to police, Martin Joseph, who served in the Patrick Manning government from 2001, drowned at a beach this morning while bathing. The police are not releasing any more details regarding his death, but Chief Secretary of the Tobago House of Assembly of London told the media that everyone is in shock and traumatized over his passing. To Caracas now, where Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro goes on an international tour to try to stem the impact of falling oil prices and a deepening recession. His first stop, China, a major source for loans for the, his country, for talks with the Chinese president. He will then travel to various OPEC member countries to press for cuts in oil output in order to boost prices. Venezuelan oil prices have dropped by half since June. On the international scene, firefighters in South Australia are in a race with Mother Nature as they rush to contain a major bushfire before soaring temperature, temperatures and high winds fuel the blaze. More than 30 homes have been destroyed and hundreds of firefighters tackled the fires which began last Friday. For a fourth day, the Adelaide Hills continue to burn. Thousands have been forced to flee. Some have returned to find they've lost all that they own. But they wouldn't let us um, come and save the house, unfortunately. What have you lost, everything? Or? Everything. All my possessions and documents and my paperwork. Lost my pets, yeah, dogs, a few cars, a few collectibles, all gone, yeah. Today, weather conditions ease slightly, allowing a brief window to try and bring the fire under control. We want it contained before the weather changes. We're expecting more hot weather, which will um, create conditions for the fire to uh, escape. And we would like to contain it within its general perimeter. Planes known as air tankers, capable of dumping over 10,000 litres of water and fire retardant at a time are being used. And more than 500 firefighters Many of them volunteers are working round the clock. And finally, new restrictions on Syrians entering Lebanon are now in effect, further slowing the flow of asylum seekers trying to escape the war. For the last four years, this main crossing from and to Syria was often crowded with refugees coming into Lebanon. Today, it's almost empty. And that's what the authorities here want. After hosting over 1.1 million Syrian refugees, the authorities decided in October that they will take no more. Today, they're implementing new measures to further restrict the entry of Syrians in general. The authorities here say they want to regulate the presence of Syrians in Lebanon and to gradually reduce their numbers. That's our afternoon update, but you can join us again this evening. Until then, remember to log on to www.barbadostoday.bb, subscribe to our e-paper, email updates, or like us on Facebook. You can also catch us on Izumi Media in bus terminals or screenplay at supermarkets and gas stations near you. Also tune in to Channel 101 on Lime TV to get all the latest news and sports. I'm Frenella Wedderburn. Do continue to enjoy your day. This news update is brought to you by... You gotta upgrade for Christmas. If you're feeling lucky, you could win some money. And upgrade for Christmas. $200,000 in cash and prizes. With Lime, you could win some money. Upgrade. It's Lime's Christmas Lottery. 250 winners this Christmas, oh yeah. Sign up for upgrades to super fast broadband, Lime TV, e billing, a data plan. Top up $15. Purchase a handset or text 4263 to enter. Upgrade for Christmas.